Another blow for slip professional as he is smitten. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four.
continue in this similarly somber vein with the Bricklayer's arms, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four.
Would you leave the room, please? You're putting us off. <laughs> Circumstances, there will now be a temporary halt to the proceedings in which I shall regale you with further words of wit and wisdom while wearing my Clash t shirt. Oh, hello, Mr. Potty, you okay? Not bad. I thought you were good, Neil. Can you take me Clash fans? I beg your pardon. Right, so. I'm going to recite a poem. Well, learn if one a stupid one. A stupid one. Thank you, sir. Uh, the same one anyway. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Doctor. All right, well, I mean, I've only said this once before, so it won't be that boring. Hopefully there'll be like sort of 70 or 80 or sort of two people who haven't heard it before, so here we go. <coughs> Good morning, Britain! Hello! What am I going to do to you today? Shall I smile or shall I frown? Will I be radiant, magnanimous and politic or shall I shoot the opposition down? I could be the empress of this lonely isle of England and when I smile, you wouldn't know which way to turn because for British soil and British laws and the British passports, holy wars men may bleed and men may burn and she parks her little black Italian car upon the pavement Bring to me my musket, fife and drum while there are dice to throw and coins to toss and heads to roll and swords to cross Someday something special this way comes, so In the 
little England and the boardrooms where the gentlemen tell lies, I stand alone in integrity. As Mr. Lord Protector bows his head in acknowledgement, I can't believe this is happening to me. Not all the lions or the unicorns together, nor the Duke of York can stem the flow. When my ministers and ADCs would rather seek redundancies than stand into the wing and take their blows. And she parks a little black Italian car above the pavement. Learned counsel, kindly intercede. In my thirty years at Temple Bar, I ought to know what morals are. But ignorance is not the case to be <laughs> says to me, we do not close until 11.30 and I did not give you leave and so he led me to his counting house to talk in privacy. When Catiline planned his rebellion to soothe the gods of war, he drank the blood of a serving man to bind them to the cause and you may toast our misdemeanors, boy, as we will drink to yours. Kind sir, I'm not the martial type, but I have no military skills, and I don't know what it's like to fight, and I don't want to know what it's like to kill, but he would not heed my answer. He poured out a measure to settle the deal. Then, armed and scarcely sober, he led his men outside, where I lost them in the shadows, and they did not see me hide, and they gave me up to vengeance when the merchantmen arrived. So, I went and found the Garda, and I told them all I knew. I gave them the names of his accomplices, and the strength of the cutter's crew, and the tides. I gave them the cargoes, and the time that the boat was due, and arquebus from sentry seizing, and so swiftly to the shore, we ran them down with wolving hounds, and we sent them by the board, and I took a week to the barn to find them for the sport. Normal service will be resumed as soon as possible, until such time um, I'm going to sit here and look like an idiot and drink orange juice and take my t-shirt off again, while well, Neil's going to do his thing and everyone else is going to sort of wander around and be embarrassed, but until such time, we will carry on with Norman. Has anyone got any, anything intelligent they want to come and say to the uh, assembled multitude? Oh, 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 you saw, you saw.
everyone such an angry song. You know, they're not everyone. It's called Caligula. It's about this time around, you can't speak. Well, look at this one. Take the 